Oh my gosh, today took a crazy turn for the worse. Man, he was a mess. Kind of like ups your mom confidence. I found this really cute crochet cardigan. Hey y'all, good morning. It is so early in the morning, like barely six o'clock. I always get up pretty early, like 5.30. Ken got up the same time as me this morning, which never happens, because he's going golfing for the first time this season, which he's super excited about. And he like went for a run at like 5.50 to like warm up, like wake himself up. I'm an early riser and I like working out in the morning. I have never run before 6 a.m. That is one thing that's for sure. But anyway, I have this like huge pile of clothes right here because I'm starting packing for our next trip. We just got back from Knoxville like a week and a half, two weeks ago, and we're leaving for another trip in a week. Yeah, I guess we got back like two weeks ago. And then we leave for another trip in a week to uh, Helen, Georgia. I'm so, so, so excited. We're going to, Helen, Georgia is like a little like mini German town, which is really exciting. It's just like very like themed and it's gonna be so cute and so fun. And then we're kind of like lining that up with my son. If y'all follow me on Instagram or anything, you know, Cole is obsessed with hot air balloons, like obsessed with hot air balloons. And I don't know if it's like the biggest hot air balloon race in America. It's just like one of the more big ones, like known ones. And it's like a hot air balloon race from Georgia to, I don't know if it's Florida or what, but it takes off, like the race starts in Helen, Georgia. So it's gonna be a ton of hot air balloons all like leaving at the same time. He's never seen like a hot air balloon in like real life, like up in the sky. So I think it's gonna be, and I mean, it's gonna be cool for us too. I feel like it's just a cool thing to like witness. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be like. We've obviously never done it, but I think it's gonna be cool just to like go see like the little cutesy little German town and then also um, to see the hot air balloon race. But I think it's gonna be so cool for us. It's gonna be really cool for Cole and it's just gonna be like a cute destination and a cute little mini vacation. We're only going for a couple of days, but it's gonna be fun, which is also why this um, packing situation is just absolutely ridiculous because we're literally only going for a couple days and I have a full packing cube plus a huge pile of clothes. Um, so I figured we could do a little kind of like pack with me sort of vlog. My problem when it comes to packing is I just like like clothes and I like outfits and I like putting outfits together and especially like vacation outfits, going out to dinner, like just doing things you don't normally get to do. You get to like wear a lot more like fun clothes. So I end up just like kind of like popping into my closet and before I know it, I've put together like in this case like 15 outfits. And I certainly don't need that many. So I have way too much clothes here and way too many outfits. But honestly, it's usually not a problem because I'll pack, you know, what I need plus a couple extra. And then if there's any outfits that didn't make the cut, I just kind of like leave a little pile here. And I have a bunch of outfits picked out for the next couple of days, like throughout the week, the weekend, whatever. And I just like use the outfits I've picked out to just wear <laughs> in my normal life. So I'm going to start getting to packing. Um, and I figure I'll kind of bring you all along with me. I actually packed up the kids' clothes yesterday. Totally forgot to like grab my camera. So their stuff's already like in packing cubes. I don't pack for my husband though. I like unpack and I pack like everything else. I just don't pack my husband's clothes. That's like the one thing I don't do because I'm packing for the kids. I'm packing food. I'm packing for me. I'm packing just like all the random necessities. I don't pack his clothes. He can pick out and pack his own clothes. Oh my gosh. Today took a crazy turn for the worse ever since I filmed the last clip you saw literally my life <laughs> fell apart. See if I can prop you up. I'm getting Emily dressed for the day. The only hit of my camera falling is very high. Oh wait, what if I do this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's extremely janky, but it'll work. Uh, so basically I think I said yeah Ken went golfing this morning for the first time this season usually he like works from home usually he's home in the mornings even though he's working he's like available you know ish to whatever degree but of course this morning he's gonna be gone you know for hours and hours golfing which is so exciting it's like a beautiful day and Cole wakes up not only early which is not ideal but also like crying and like kind of like not like screaming but like i don't know clearly like not happy and that like a he doesn't usually wake up early and b he definitely doesn't usually wake up upset like he just wakes up quietly and we just go grab him you know what i mean or we have to wake him up half the time so i was like well of course that would happen and then he keeps saying like ow and ow and it hurts and it hurts which also like never happens and he was like at first pointing like over here and then he started like holding his ear and i was like okay i don't know maybe it's an ear infection maybe he just like slept weird on his neck or something and it's just like sore or something like that so i go to bring him downstairs and he is just a mess like he lets me take him out of his crib but he wants me to sit and hold him in his rocking chair and i can't get up he is 
like inconsolable just like crying whining needing to be held literally wouldn't let me put him down so i had to carry my 45 pound toddler and my 20 pound baby both in my arms down the stairs to go downstairs she thankfully is like such a good sport so she was just like chilling because he would not like let me put him down i had to like lay on the couch with him i had to hold him i had to walk around with him and like i just can't get him to chill out i'm trying to like offer him things i gave him like an ice pack like all the things that would distract him thinking like maybe it's just bothersome but like he'll he can be distracted out of it how toddlers are man he was a mess he cried for like and the doctor wasn't even open this was all at like seven so well, he woke up at 6 45 and the doctor i couldn't even call till eight so we have like a lot of hours of just like whining and fussing and him just saying like ouchie 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 and i like my heart was breaking because i he's never been in pain like that ever like we've literally he's over two and a half we've never even taken him to the doctor for anything other than uh like just like a checkup like a regular scheduled appointment we've never like needed like an impromptu visit like this literally in his entire existence which is so fortunate but also kind of crazy and of course ken is gone he's gonna be gone for hours so i'm like what do i do i have like this baby that i'm like neglecting not that she needed anything like she wasn't crying she was fed and everything but like she was just like kind of doing her own thing because cole needed so much attention i got i mean y'all know he has gsd so he has to like eat and I couldn't even check his blood sugar because he was just like in such a such a mess. So I don't know if that played into it, if his blood sugar was low or something. But that like adds stress onto the situation because getting a two and a half year old to eat is already like, you know, a whole entire thing. But of course, if they're like fussing and crying, it's just 10 times more difficult. So I kind of like got him to have a little bit of milk. I gave him a couple like mini M&Ms, like anything to get something in his belly. And he is just inconsolable crying will not let me put him down doesn't want to like watch anything doesn't want to play anything like just clearly uncomfortable and upset and he would like settle you know for like periods of time especially if he was laying on me he would be fine but then if you like put him on his own he would just cry and just hold his ear and ask for an ice pack and he was just it was very difficult because i mean if he was my only kid i would be happy to just like lay on the couch with him and like be there to comfort him but like I have another kid now so it wasn't that easy and obviously i didn't have any help so i eventually got him to eat a little bit of yogurt and then of course he like gags on it and pukes like half of it up as if the morning couldn't get more like problematic for him or for me like he doesn't want to like be gagging and puking and then of course there's like this mess i did get um acetaminophen into him to like help with like some pain management i just grabbed the acetaminophen probably should have done the ibuprofen but I was just like whatever he will take and he actually like cooperated like he was crying but he cooperated with the medicine and i finally got a hold of the doctor and um they were able to see him it was like 8 you know 802 803 when i called and they were like can you come in at 8:40?" and i was like i can try like i don't usually do a ton like just by myself with the two of them usually ken like if we're doing outings and stuff um usually ken comes or i just like have one of them it's not very often that i go out with both and so of course i have a screaming toddler and then she eventually started getting a little bit fussy but honestly she was really really great the whole time she just got really tired because she had to like skip her whole morning nap because we were all over the place she usually naps at, like 8 30 or 9 so i'm like okay i get all the kids in the car and cole is like he says it hurts every time like the car like turned too much he would say ouchie ouchie so like i feel like i don't know i haven't had an ear infection in like i don't know probably 20 years but like i feel like usually an ear infection doesn't just like hurt when you touch it so that's why i don't I don't know i it's really hard to tell him obviously he's like a little young to really be able to like super super communicate exactly what the problem is but thankfully he's old enough to at least explain you know enough to know what we can hopefully like use as a starting point to figure out what's wrong so um get them all loaded up i'm like running so late because i literally had 30 minutes from when i made the appointment to get all the kids situated get me ready get in the car and get out the door thankfully i was already like dressed and had my makeup on and whatever not that that matters but like i was good to walk out the door i didn't get them changed we literally just got in the car we were a couple minutes late it was totally fine um, but he was like a total total psycho at the appointment like cole's just not that kind of kid he's like such an even tempered child like he does not really like freak out he doesn't like kick or throw or like lash out like he just will get upset he was so out of sorts of course we had to like manhandle him to get her like the ability to look in his ear and he was such a mess like he's just he's never acted like that and ken feels so bad because of course like i told him what was going on he feels so bad that he of course the one day that and the first time any of this happens is also the first time he's not here to help with it and he's not doing something he can just kind of like leave like he's in the middle of golfing you know what i mean 
and I didn't want him to like I he's having a good morning and I can handle it so I was like at least one of us deserves to have like a decent morning he's like oh my gosh I owe you <laughs> so big and I was like no and honestly like I I kept my ish together um fairly well because I'm really not like an overly like emotional um like parent I feel like when it comes to parenting I'm like what do we need to do and when and how and like I'm just more of like a I don't know like compartmentalized like task getter dunner sort of parent so we got to the doctor she looked in his ear she said it was like a little red but like definitely not as red as she would have thought for like how much you know pain he seemed to be in so um she said also like i was thinking it was either his ear or his throat and she said yeah it could maybe be the lymph nodes over here maybe he could have strep and like because he was like here and he, so she's just gonna prescribe him amoxicillin um which would take care of either or both depending what it is and by the time we like got him some breakfast we stopped at chick-fil-a and got some breakfast and by the time we kind of had like some food in his belly and he was sitting in the car he was like definitely calmed down he seemed like it was hurting less he was still saying ouch but it seemed like it was bothering him less he was just like in better spirits and then but he'd been crying all morning like for probably three hours on and off but like a lot so he was so tired so i got him down for a nap and i got her down for a nap because she skipped her morning nap she was exhausted she fell asleep for like a couple minutes in the car and then woke up and then fell asleep and then woke up so she's kind of been <laughs> a little bit of a mess this morning too not like fussy but just like you know she is exhausted and so then i get them both down for naps and i'm like wow i just did all that like i got cole up i did his thing i got her up changed her diaper did his thing got myself dressed got myself ready did my walking pad like got their day going and then also dealt with a kid screaming crying puking getting all of us loaded into the car going to the doctor doing the appointment leaving the appointment picking up food getting everyone home getting everyone down for naps and then this girl this girl right her sleeps for like 15 minutes so i literally got just enough time to like eat my hash browns from chick-fil-a and she was ready to party are you ready to party baby girl are you ready to go baby girl <laughs> And I threw in a little laundry. So that's our day. Ken is still um, out. <laughs> he like feels so bad and I'm like, no, do not feel bad. And honestly, I, sometimes I feel like things like this, I mean, I know a lot of like parents and moms don't have help throughout the day like at all. Like their you know husbands are at work or they don't have family around or whatever. And so I know a lot of moms do stuff like this, like solo and crush it. And I don't do it a ton, A, because I just don't like, there's no reason to, you know, like my kids thankfully are not in situations very often, um, but my husband's like available. So I'm just like not in a position where I need to like challenge my mom skills like this. And I feel like it honestly kind of like ups your mom confidence a good bit when you like kind of are in like a stressful or like hectic situation with your kids and you kind of crush it i feel like i kind of crushed it like i kept my cool i didn't freak out cole you know was i think he felt comforted and he felt okay like as you know as much as i was capable of doing and emily was totally fine like i honestly feel like i did a really good job considering um the circumstances and the ages and how everyone was feeling and how tired everyone was and the fact that it was our first time ever even really having like not like an emergency doctor visit but you know an acute doctor visit like even the doctor walked in she's like this is his first acute visit ever in his whole life i was like yeah isn't that crazy even though he has gsd that's not like that was never like a thing that brought us to the doctor anyway yeah it's been um it's been a crazy 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 morning but we're in good spirits. I haven't had any coffee yet. Ken's gonna pick up some <laughs> Dunkin' for me. I do have a cup of uh, chai latte downstairs that I just made that I didn't get to drink. I didn't get to drink it yet, so I am completely uncaffeinated. <laughs> but we're in good spirits. It's all as well. Cole, I think, is feeling better. Ken's gonna go get the prescription. We'll just give him some more ibuprofen and you know, we'll keep on keeping on. Oh, this is cute, girl. This is real cute. That's a sweet baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But in other news, like I mentioned, <laughs> packing related back to the original purpose of this video. I have Emily's clothes all good to go in here. Um, this has like her outfits, her shoes, her like burp cloths, bibs, socks, everything. And then this is the outfit that she's going to wear on the drive. And then same for Cole. I have his shoes here the outfit that he's gonna wear in the car and then all of his clothes his pjs um this little bag has like hats and socks and stuff like that um and then all his outfits are in here so i love that all the kids clothes like fit in two tiny little packing cubes and then just his little shoes so they are good to go but i really have to figure this out because this is enough clothes for probably two weeks 
and we're gonna be gone for a couple of days. So, yeah. I just ran to Target to get Cole's prescription, and I saw this there. I thought this would be perfect for our trip. It's so cool. It has a little, you can see a picture back here, a little like carrying handle, and then it unzips, and it has like colored pencils, and a pencil sharpener, and then like some activity books, and coloring books, and this side is like soft, and then this side, is like hard and it has like a little clip so I thought this would be so good I mean we're not taking a flight but this would be great for a flight but I figured just for like travel purposes to have at the Airbnb and stuff for him to color that's so cute and it was like 10 bucks and I'm gonna um I'm not gonna use these for this trip but I got <laughs> Emily's way too small for this but I thought this would be cute for like an Easter basket or something for maybe next year or something like that. I always just like grab little things when I see them to just put away for the kids, like again, for future, like little, like boo baskets, Easter baskets, stuff like that. But how cute are these from the dollar spot? They were $3 each and it's kind of a similar concept. They have like crayons and some coloring pages and stuff in them. And then again, a little like clip situation so they can put stuff out here. It looks like there's like stickers and other stuff in there. So I just got them each one. Uh... <laughs> you got drool everywhere. You want to eat it? You want the passy? <laughs> So, um, I think I mentioned in my last travel vlog, since it was literally two weeks ago, I literally left the stuff I didn't wear on our last trip in the packing cube. Hey, Miss Girly. So I like basically already had <laughs> like enough packed in this cube. I kind of like forgot what was in here. And so now I'm trying to like figure out out of the new, I literally spent so long picking out outfits. <laughs> so now I'm trying to decide what I need. Like this is kind of um, like a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> sort of outfit so this is like a little bit nicer and this is a dress this is like kind of a nicer ish um, like jumpsuit romper so I feel like these are like some good dinner options this is just a t-shirt with bike shorts so that's just like a comfy like lounge option but then I want to bring this as like my kind of comfy lounge set because this is that Amazon set I talk about all the time that I'm obsessed with and then I picked out like sneakers and sandals and like a hat but I definitely like I don't need this dress probably now. Um, oh, these are like really cute, like um, kind of like flare pants. I feel like I have enough dressy outfits though, so I need like casual stuff. So I think I'll bring, yeah, I'll definitely bring this tennis dress because that's, you know, like casual and comfy for like doing stuff out during the day. Um, I always bring a headband because I feel like it makes everything cuter. I found this really cute crochet cardigan at Kohl's the other day. I just feel like this is like the perfect thing to bring on vacation for like spring and summer trips because it's like not gonna make you hot, you know? But <laughs> it's also gonna give you a little bit of like warmth, you know, if you're like going to restaurants with a lot of air conditioning. You can kind of just like throw this over anything and it's cute, but like not too much for the summer. Alright, we've narrowed it down. This um, headband actually matches this dress perfectly, so that was a good choice. And then I feel like this, since it's like a big bright pop of color, like I could totally wear it like with this denim romper and it would be fun. This outfit's kind of like neutral, so I feel like I could even go with that. So I'm going to do that, and then I think for my driving outfit, I'll wear my tennis dress with this hat, a little cardigan, and these sandals this be like my lounge kind of like pj type situation um i'm gonna bring the sneakers to probably those uh, brown sandals and then this is literally all extra <laughs> like i picked out but you know what this is not a problem i don't know if i said this already in this video um but in situations like this when i've already like picked out a bunch of outfits and i'm not gonna actually need them or pack them i just like fold them up in this little like corner of my room and i just wear these outfits over the next couple of days I'm definitely gonna take advantage of the fact that I did that and still wear this stuff but like I really underestimated how much I had already packed because this is like almost everything I pulled out is now just in a big pile here are you getting sleepy do you want to go night you do okay goodness gracious girlfriend so like I said since 
we're only going to be going for a couple of days. I think we're just going to bring these two pieces of luggage, which I think should be enough for all of us. I'm thinking because I only have one packing cube. Usually I take up at least like two big ones, but I got myself down to one, which is pretty impressive. And then you also I have the kids stuff and just like the two little cubes that my husband uses like a tiny packing cube, basically the size of Kohl's, because he brings just about nothing. So I think these will work. And these are from Level 8. This is not sponsored or anything, but they sent these over to me. We've actually gotten luggage from them before, and we have some like accessories. We have their little electronics bag, which I'll have to show you guys, that we keep all of our like travel like cords and chargers and stuff in. Absolutely adore their luggage. These pieces are so pretty. So this is their Voyager set. It comes with the two different sizes. It has this big one and then this smaller, um, like carry on size and these have like all the features that you could want in your luggage and they're just so aesthetic like do y'all see how they're like two-toned how beautiful and they're just like very aesthetic like just the shape and the size they have the handle on the top and the handle on the side which you would maybe think is not like super necessary it is so necessary like once you have this you realize how handy this to be able to carry your luggage this way instead of just from the top and of course it has all your standard like really great features but they're just like better they're your standard features but kind of like elevated these really nice like super super wide handles the wheels swivel so so well and we just like love a matching set moment i feel like everything is just like better in terms of clothing in terms of luggage everything like if you can get things that are aesthetically pleasing and match i just feel better about it how cute is this and i feel like these colors are just so neutral like it's good for a family because it's not like super pink or like super you know masculine i feel like this is like a very like gender neutral little set i'm thinking all of our clothes will fit well in this one and then i'll be able to put like the kids stuff in this one because the kids always need like extra stuff you know like not just their clothes like we need their diapers and like their sleep suits and like changing pad and toys and like cole's pillow and like their stuffed animals that they sleep with there's just like extra things for kids so i feel like this big size will be perfect for all of our like packing cubes essentially and then we'll be able to use this like smaller size for just like basically everything else okay let's load these up i super love these like divided compartments here i literally use these because you can put wet stuff over here because it's like it's like silicone plastic whatever it is on both sides so if you have like wet swimsuits or anything like that just like dirty stuff i put over there and then this side's like mesh so it's like super airy so again if you have like dirty clothes things you don't want to get like all like gross and musty this is so great for storage and i love that the zipper like both side zipper clothes i feel like a lot of suitcases i don't know if you'll have it but like one side zippers and the other side just has these straps but no cover so like this stuff stays put really well but this stuff can kind of like shift around because it's only strapped down. It's not like closed in. And I love that their suitcases close in both sides plus they have the straps. So that like when you open the suitcase, <laughs> nothing's going to fall out because both sides are like super secured. And it kind of like compresses them down too. I have another suitcase and one side, everything stays put. And the other side, everything falls out if I don't open it like the exact right way. So anyway, here is my packing cube. And these are like deep too. Like I don't know... Yeah, I feel like you can definitely tell. I can literally put Cole's packing cube on top of mine. And, well, mine's a little too short, but I could theoretically put Emily's on top of mine too. Actually, once Ken puts his clothes in here, big little sweatsuit. Look at that. I can literally, like, layer multiple packing cubes in here. Do y'all see that? And then still be able to strap it and close it. So, honestly... Ken's packing cube will probably fit right here and then we literally have everybody's clothes on one half of one suitcase Which I've never been able to do before the last trip we took my stuff alone when we went to Knoxville My stuff alone I didn't have these suitcases. It was a different one But my stuff alone took up one half of like a big suitcase So like 50% of a giant suitcase was just clothes for me so a i'm just doing a better job at packing this time but also just like the way these two cases are like set up they're so roomy but like they're still the same like size as other suitcases. like they're not extra big like bulky suitcases they just the way they're designed is just like very efficient so yeah look at me i'm so proud of myself i we literally fit all of the human beings in this family's clothes in half of a big suitcase which is crazy so honestly i could maybe theoretically we'll see how this plays out only this one suitcase 
which I don't know I feel like that would be impressive like I told you even though we're only going for like three days I still feel like that's impressive to fit a family of four in one suitcase right so um obviously I still have a lot of packing to do I also have a huge thing of laundry and then that whole pile of clothes from earlier that I need to just like fold and situate um the laundries baby laundry and like kid laundry so it's just like a lot of small tiny pieces of clothing so a basket this big of like kid clothes is a lot of individual clothes as opposed to with adult clothes it's probably like you know half the amount of actual stuff in there so anyway okay i filled up my little like underwear sock bra little bag put that in there this is y'all don't even understand what an accomplishment this is for me <gasps> that is this has never happened usually shannon takes up this much the real estate in <laughs> the luggage and look at that i love that it's all zipped in there so like nothing's gonna move nothing's gonna fall out when i open it and then like i said i can probably fit ken stuff in here too and then this side i could just put like our other stuff and then i don't know i don't even know if i would like need a second one or if we can literally just do it like that would be crazy right that'd be so great hey y'all i just showered and yes i threw this set back on for now to like it in pjs I think if you don't like film or create content, you'd probably be, well maybe you wouldn't, this is it, you'd maybe be shocked at the things that we use as like tripods, like right now you are extremely precariously positioned on top of my like jewelry holder, like the very top of it, it's like a flower, <laughs> and you're sitting on that part. But anyway, I'm just going to brush out my hair and kind of wrap up this vlog. I should do a video about what I do with my hair. This is totally unrelated to what I was just, just gonna say. But I feel like since I was originally pregnant with Cole, so this is like, you know, three years ago at this point, was when I really went on my journey to like figure out like what my hair needed as far as like hair products and like what would help keep my curls in. And I'm not, I've been on like my hair journey for like three years and I feel like I finally, I mean, I, I rotate products for the most part. I have ones that I know I like and just, I have more like a routine. Even if the products change, I have kind of like standard things that I put in my hair when they're wet and then kind of like standard things that I put in my hair once it's dry and like kind of how I style it in terms of like blowing it out and you know, using heat styling or even heatless styling sometimes. And I just kind of have like my hair game like figured out, honestly, <laughs> finally after all this time. So I kind of feel like I should do a video even make maybe just in a vlog, like not anything super official, but I obviously like, I have a lot of hair. Well, I don't know, my hair's thin, but I have, you know, just kind of a lot of it and it's long. Anyway, I sort of feel like I should do a video about that. Cole is feeling a lot better, it seems like. Like he, after I gave him the ibuprofen, um, and then he was like, honestly, seemed like he was feeling fine. And then we gave him some amoxicillin. It didn't seem to bother his stomach, like a lot of people, mentioned give it to him with food but it didn't seem to bother his stomach and he's been like acting pretty much fine ever since he mentioned in the car like a couple times like twice that his head was hurting and then just now before bed he said if something was hurting but then when you would like probe him like oh really what's hurting he would say nothing so i don't know if anything is still bothering him or is not bothering him honestly we're just gonna like see how he does tonight because i feel like for with kids and babies and stuff if something's bothering them it will definitely bother them at night like when they have no distractions and they're just kind of there so we're gonna see how tonight goes and if we need to give him more ibuprofen or whatever we obviously will but he seems to be okay so now i'm kind of like wondering like does he have an ear infection does like is something actually wrong that it like is, then it wouldn't feel better already would it he cried for hours i don't know like i thought it was like was he sleeping weird but he wouldn't have cried for that i don't know i literally couldn't tell you like after the ibuprofen he was like a new kid and i only gave him that one dose at like 11:30. And he's been fine ever since. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will have um, all of the luggage, the lovely luggage that I mentioned linked down below. They have a ton of other options besides what I showed y'all. I actually have another set that I'm going to be showing y'all in a different video that is stunning, like so pretty. So all that will be linked down below for y'all to check out. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you would like to subscribe, we'd love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I will see y'all in our next video. Bye, guys.